Hey guys, uh, good morning, good afternoon, whatever the case may be when you guys are watching this. I um, just wanted to say a very special thank you to everyone who has purchased a copy of Alone with the Round Table in the past year. I am, I believe, at 150 something at this point and had you asked me what my goal would be or what I think I would have sold a year ago when I dropped this book, I would not have been able to give a number because I wasn't sure how many people would reach out and support this this idea that I've had for the longest time. Um, but it's it's a blessing and it's very humbling to see how many people have supported this book, whether it's family, friends, you know, people that watched me on stages all over Orlando or New York, um, you know, family that, that has watched me and listened to me go on and on and on about the things I've, ever, I've always wanted to do. Um, as a kid, I used to always write short stories that didn't really make sense, but that always led to something bigger for me. It was like, I want to write a book. I've always wanted to be a writer. Like That was never a doubt in my mind that what I wanted to do was write. And so one day I just woke up last year and was like, I'm gonna write this book. Not just for me, you know, for my family, for my friends, for the people watching me and sharing my stuff and the people who would go to shows at the Sesh or Dandelion or wherever I was just to watch me. Um, that th this book is for you guys like honestly like this is the perfect table you know coffee table companion the perfect bedside companion school work desk um train ride whatever the case may be like this is the perfect book of emotions to just have with you at any moment and really dig into someone's brain you know this book was also important to me because it was the first time that I got to show boys and girls who were just like me that it's okay to be different it's it, it's okay to want to dream and and want to do so many things with your life but find your you know find what you want to do um and just run with it kind of because kids like me there's so many of us still you know that that aren't being given that chance to really be themselves or dream the right dream the right way or being told constantly you know you can't do that you know you'll 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 never do it um but alone at the round table was so much more than that for me it was it was my wake-up call you know it was like yo people really do love my stuff and i want to give them the biggest thank you that i can think of and that's what alone at the round table is for me it's my thank you to so many people all over the world um and you know, I can't thank the city of Orlando enough for what it did for me, the time that I was living here. Um, I lived here 17 years or 15 years, and it took me about 10 years to truly find my calling, so to speak. You know, my, my what, what am I supposed to do, you know? It was open mics at Valencia, open mics at Taste in Winter Park, open mics at the Sesh Orlando and Dock Street Side Grill or Cafe Annie's or Phantom Bar or Back Booth. Wherever you followed me from, this is for you guys. I mean, so many of my starting pieces are in this book. Tattoo, Blood on the Leaves, um, you know, uh, and so many city favorites like or like uh, King and Genius. Um, only human and um, just so much has gone into this book and the planning of it and just executing it the right way was very tedious I will say but also so humbling because I got to see what my hard work did for other people you know um, and with saying that you know we all make mistakes Nothing is ever actually perfect. So when I first put this book together and uploaded it to Amazon, it asked me, hey, there are a couple of changes you have to make, review them. And I was like, no, this book is perfect. There's nothing to change. And then the first person received their book. And as a lot of you know, 
a lot of pieces that have like two pages to the piece the second page always has the tiniest font and that's what I get for not checking my work um, with the second book I checked my work I made sure everything was okay I did the work I revised the book and it came out perfect so I thought why not give the people what they want and re-release alone at the round table with the proper font and the right pieces and the right look so you know on June 4th on amazon.com you guys will see a brand new version of alone at the round table uploaded because I will be changing a couple of pieces in the book I will be making sure that the font looks all right I will be doing what I should have done last year for the very first book that I wrote because I want this to be the best thing anyone's ever read I want this to be the book that someone says it changed my life because so many books did that for me you know so many people have done that for me and I want to be that person for somebody else and I mean what better way to celebrate one year of this beauty this blessing than re-releasing it and giving it to the people who gave me so much um, again from the bottom of my heart thank you guys so much for appreciating my hard work and taking a piece of my heart in your hands to read to to talk with your friends and family about to gift to other people I mean what more can a writer really want at this point you know um, I never would have thought that a girl like me would write a book you know because my story is just such a long and beautiful and just it's a crazy ride and the fact that I get to add this to my story the fact that I published two books before the age of 30 it makes me emotional because again there are people out there just like me who are being looked over right now or being told no because of a little difference I mean you know in times like these right now that we're in you get to really sit with yourself and think about a lot and it's it's just amazing to be alive right now it's 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 um it's a gift and we have to take that and just run with it you know because it can be gone at any moment so yeah guys happy one year till more at the round table um and i can't wait for you guys to enjoy the new edition of the book if you already have it i'm sorry that you have to buy it again if you choose to um but if you don't already have this book and you want to dive into my brain this is a perfect chance the perfect chance for you guys to do this right now is this one right here um and a lot of you probably are asking or maybe not even but the reason why i released alone at the round table on june 4th of last year was because last year was the five year anniversary or what would have been the five year anniversary of the Sesh Orlando. Now if you know me at all you know what the Sesh Orlando means to me and my career and me as a person. Um, what it did for me to become who I was in Orlando um, or who I am in Orlando. Um, you know I was I was that girl, I was like, hey, people say, hey, you know, that, that's Nat from the sesh, that's, that's Red Lipstick and Hip Hop from the sesh, and now it's, yo, you wrote along with the round table, and voila, that's crazy, and I'm like, yeah, that's, I didn't think this would happen, but it's here, it happened, and a lot of it is thanks to so many of you for believing in me, and pushing me, and cheering me on, and my family for putting up with me, for my friends, for the men who are in this book um thank you for allowing me to tell our story and thank you for allowing me to live those moments with you even if they weren't the prettiest 
um, but because of you all, these pieces are in people's hands right now. And because of you all, I have grown stronger. I have grown braver. And the, our experiences have told a story that I didn't need to tell. People just kind of took it and they were like, yo, I felt that. You know, so thank you guys. Thank you everyone for being so supportive and being so amazing and loving the book and continuing to support. Um, thank you guys, and I hope you guys enjoy Alone at the Round Table uh, one year edition on June 4th on Amazon. <laughs>